Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to use a uh, amino acid translation table. Uh, what you see here actually um, is a 4x4 four four table, uh, and then there are 4 on the side, so 4 times 4 times 4. We should actually have uh, 64 uh, different amino acids inside here, and they're labeled with their three-letter designation. And the way you do it is you start over here, and you uh, pick out the first letter, then the second letter, then the third letter, and you follow all three in there to figure out what codon matches to what amino acid. So, let's go ahead and uh, try an example over here. Suppose, for example, I want to figure out what the amino acid is for A, um, why don't we try U, and then uh, G. Okay, let's go ahead and figure that out. Well, first of all, we look over here on the side, and we find A. Then we look on the second one here, and we find U. And then we look way over here on the side for the third one, and we find G. And this would be the G that we'd find. And then you follow them all in, right? And you see where they all come together. And it looks like this one comes together at MAT. So. Therefore, we would figure out that uh, the codon for AUG is uh, MET, would actually is uh, methionine. Uh, let's go ahead and try another one here. So I'll just go ahead and erase all this stuff for a moment. Um, let's try, for example, how about uh, GCC? Where would that one be here? So let's take a look over here. On uh, write it down here for a moment. So we're going to do uh, G C C, and let's pick a different color here so everyone knows what I'm talking about here. So that's G, and then up here would be C, and then you'd go over here to another C. Let's follow all three of them in here. This one goes here, this one goes here, and this one comes down here. That was pretty easy, actually. Everybody in this box was going to be the same thing. And this time it's L-A-A, -A, excuse me, A-L-A, uh, -A, and A-L-A -A actually is alanine. So that would be the amino acid for that codon. Now, the only problem, though, with the code is that it is what they call degenerative. And that means that you only have 20 amino acids, yet you have 64 possibilities. So that means a lot of them are going to be the same, like we just saw in alanine. It also means, though, that some of them don't code for codons. What they code for are stops. And stops are... Um, Instead of amino acids, they tell the uh, polymerase that you need to stop at that point and stop putting together the uh, protein of the amino acids. So let's go ahead and just try one of those this time. So a stop codon would be, um, why don't we try UGA. So UGA. That's going to be a stop. Let me just uh, get rid of this guy, by the way, so we don't get confused over here. So let's try UGA. Let's pick out another color here so everybody knows what I'm talking about. So U would be down here. G would be up here. A would be over here. And you can see that when these guys come together, they form a stop. So UGA actually doesn't code for an amino acid, it codes for a stop, and that tells polymerase to stop making the amino acids. Now, how many are there? Well, let's see, there's one of them. Where would be another one over here? There's two more over here. So we can actually go backwards now and figure out um, who would be the codons that would give us those stops. So if we look right here at, U, at this stop here, this would be UAA. Let's write that down, UAA. And if we look over here at this one, this one would be UAG, UAG. Oops, too many letters there. UAG. And uh, can't seem to get a capital in there. There we go. And the last one here that we already found was UGA, UGA. Fantastic. So, we have uh, 64 possibilities, 20 amino acids, and in addition, we have um, 
we have three different stop codons here.